Hey guys, welcome back to the series I'm Turning 30. My name is Mitch, and this is a series where every single week I talk about my life, whether that's something in the past that's happened, things that are currently happening in present, or things that will happen in my future. Or, for all I know, it could be a mixture of all three, some parts of two of them, who knows? But, as you can see this week, I'm going to be talking about my fears. Now, I'll start off the video by saying, if you watch this video and you're like, Mitch, you didn't mention this fear, you didn't mention this fear, I think that fear and things that you're scared of kind of have a wide range of variety. We may have had a conversation of, at some point where I said, I'm scared of this, this is a fear I have, something, something, something. I think that there are levels and it might have been something that just wasn't very high on the list and I just kind of forgot about. It's kind of hard, I think, to pinpoint everything exactly that you're scared of unless you spend a long time and constantly write down every single one. But I'm just gonna kinda talk about the top ones that come to mind at the moment. So I am gonna list everything that I am scared of, but I'm also gonna go over a list of some of the most common fears and talk about them and whether I am scared of them or not. So if you have a visual fear, I will try not to put it on screen, but this is your warning. Something may appear on screen that you are scared of. So let's talk about the 10 top most common fears and we'll go down the list. I'll mention if I'm scared of them or not. And again, this is your last warning. Some of the images of things that you are scared of may appear on screen. Now, you're, if you're curious and you wanna fact check if these are the top 10 most common phobias, I'm getting this info from a website called psychcentral.com. They are getting it from a source and data collected by something called PubMed Central, who conducted research in regards to phobias in 2020. So number one on their list is acrophobia or fear of heights. Now, I personally do not have acrophobia at current time. If you go back to the very first video that's on this channel, it's actually of me skydiving. So I definitely do not have acrophobia. I think I did when I was little. I was scared of falling off of things. I think as many little kids are, you fall off one thing and then you're worried about it. But as I've gotten older, it doesn't really worry me that much anymore. But I do know a lot of people that do have agoraphobia. Now, number two on the list is aerophobia or the fear of flying. I believe that this only applies to getting on airplanes specifically. I don't think this is in regards to if all of a sudden you could fly, you would be scared of it. But I also do not have this flight. I am living in Japan. I travel frequently. I am not scared of getting on planes at all. I actually don't think I know anyone that, or no one comes to mind right away that I know that has the fear of flying. I'm sure there may be some people that have it, but I can't think of anybody right away. It's not stuck in my mind that they're scared of flying, even though I might know them. But we go to number three on the list, which is aquaphobia or fear of water. And this is the first one that I do have. Now, since I was a kid, I've never really been the strongest swimmer. I've almost drowned a couple of times. Most recently, I almost drowned, I think it was four years ago, five years ago. No, it's been longer. I don't know how long ago it was. It was actually like five years, five, six years ago. But I've almost drowned a couple of times in my life. I've had to learn how to swim a couple of times or three times when I was a kid because I would forget and just don't like water, don't really like swimming. It's not what's in the water, it's the water itself and just the drowning process. Again, having almost drowned a couple of times, it's just not something I enjoy doing, so totally understand this fear being in the top 10. Number four is astrophobia, or the fear of storms. Now, this is very interesting and probably the one that I didn't expect going down this list. I know people are scared of like thunderstorms and the like, but for some reason I wouldn't have expected it to be in the top 10, let alone the fourth one listed. I know many animals have this phobia, but again, I'm just not familiar with anybody in my life having this fear. Even online, I can't think of many people that actually have this fear, but apparently a lot of people do. See, now this fifth one is very common and I'm shocked it was lower than the last one, but it's claustrophobia or fear of enclosed or tight spaces. Now, claustrophobia, I think is something that I have a few people in my life that are close to me that do have this fear. I can't say I necessarily have this fear. I think I'm just more uncomfortable in those spaces rather than scared. Like I don't have a fear emotion. It's just like, wow, this sucks not like a, this sucks, I need to get out type of feeling. I do understand why it is a fear, just not something that I have personally. And again, it is number five, so pretty high on the list. The next one on the list, or number six, is dentophobia, or fear of going to the dentist, which out of all of the medical professionals that you could go to, I'm shocked that dentophobia is the 
highest one of medical personnel that you would be scared of i understand things like regarding the mouth is like scary and whatnot maybe it's just because i've had positive experiences with the dentist growing up but again i don't know anybody that has this fear i know kids are a lot of the time scared and it hurts because of the amount of bad hygiene that they have i just don't personally have this fear i actually really like going to the dentist and i don't know anybody that does have this fear but hey it's on the list the next one on the, the list is inoculophobia or the fear of crowds now i think in this generation and in these times we hear so much about social anxiety and people that do have this fear and i'm curious if it's an actual fear not to like downplay what people are feeling or just like an uncomfortableness kind of like what i mentioned with claustrophobia like people would prefer not to be in the crowd but they're not scared of the crowd i i'm curious like what people how they kind of ranked it and what that fear means to those people but i hey if they're scared they're scared i guess i just i don't feel like in these times it's the same as it might have been 20 years ago because people see that fear in a different way number eight on the list is glossophobia or the fear of public speaking now this is another one that i actually do kind of have a little bit now i do teach english here in japan i am in front of 20 to 30 to 40 students monday through friday in different classes at different times of the day all the time but I don't really have a fear of speaking to them. There are times when I have to speak to peers or about a topic maybe that I'm more passionate about. I mean, this is kind of public speaking. I'm posting it on the internet publicly for people to see, and I don't really have a fear of doing that. But when I have to hold things, like if I was talking to people, and let's pretend that this can was a piece of paper, I would be shaking and this, this, thing in my hands would be shaking. For some reason, when I'm talking in front of people, I don't like to hold things. I don't like to have things in my hands or be standing still, which is part of the reason I think maybe in these videos, I move so much and use my hands to talk. It's much more comfortable rather than having to be static and reading off of a paper. I much prefer to kind of free flow it, not have a script and kind of just say what's coming to mind as it's coming to mind. So yeah, totally get the fear of public speaking one. Doesn't surprise me that it's on the list at all. As we get farther into the list, I'm actually realizing this list is in a top 10. It's a top 13. I typed in top 10, but for some reason this gave me 13. So we're going to go to 13. The next one I know is a very common one. I know many people that have it. I personally do not have it. And that is hemophobia or the fear of blood. Now, I think it's pretty easy to understand why this is a fear. Many people might have a medical condition that relates to this. They might have had something traumatic happen to them when they were little regarding to blood. They know blood is related to pain. There's a plethora of reasons that blood can be associated with fear. Again, personally don't have it, doesn't really bother me. Obviously when you get hurt and you see the blood, I don't know, just doesn't really track for me as a fear. Again, more uncomfortable, not a fan of having it. It's not like I love it, but not as scared of it by any means. But again, I know a lot of people that do have this fear. So the next one at this list at number 10 is iatrophobia, which again, I would have thought would have been over dentophobia. Iatrophobia is the fear of doctors. Now I know that dentists are doctors, but this list has them separated. So don't blame me, blame the website. Again, I'm curious how many people have dentists under this fear as well. Like they have iatrophobia and it's also not just dentists, but other doctors. Like are some people not scared of other doctors, but only the dentist or vice versa? I'm curious. Again, I don't really know any that has these fears again except for maybe little kids that are scared of going to the dentist not saying you can't have it as an adult I just personally don't know anybody that has it again not scared of going to the doctor I think they're very helpful most of the time and when I go there it's usually a positive outlook or to get something that I'm worried about checked out just don't have any negative experiences or bad feelings towards doctors. Number 11 on the list is very common and apparently has two names, which I just learned as of looking up this list, but it is called misophobia or more commonly known as germophobia, the fear of germs. Now, many people have this fear. I think this is honestly shocking that it's this low on the list. I would have expected this one to be much, much higher just based on the amount of people that I think I hear in media that have this. There's a ton of famous people that have this. I feel like I hear about this one all the time especially after the coronavirus. I'm sure this one shot up even more. Like germophobia is something that I know tons of people have. This is not something that I personally deal with, but not a shocker that it's on the list at all. All right, the next one on the list, number 12, is nasakamphobia or the fear of hospitals. 
Again, this plays into the dentist doctor angle. I'm curious, is it just the hospital on the outside? Is it the inside of the hospitals? Is it a specific room in the hospital? What is it about the hospital? I've never met anybody with this fear. I don't frequent hospitals or know anybody that necessarily does that might have this fear or anybody that I could ask. So if you do have this fear, please let me know down in the comments down below what this fear really means. Is it the fear of the building on the outside going in? everything about it is the doctors not the scary part like are the people inside the scary building not scary i would love to know and number 13 is something that i thought would be much higher on the list i'm shocked it's at number 13 but it is on here and it's zoophobia i'm guessing they honestly went to number 13 to include zoophobia because it's such a wide umbrella and it encapsulates so many different animals it, it, it's the fear of animals if you didn't know what zoophobia was and this includes things like arachnophobia the fear of spiders if you are scared of any animals, it falls under the umbrella of zoophobia, insects, anything like that. So like snakes, bees, birds, fish, dogs, cats, whatever it is, falls under the umbrella of zoophobia. Now, if we go with zoophobia, I think that mostly everyone has some type of zoophobia. There's probably one animal that everybody is scared of. There, again, are probably exceptions, but I would like to think most people have one animal. They're just like, no. No, that's a pass. That's a pass. You know, that insect, hard pass. Don't want to touch it. That spider, hard pass. Don't want to touch it. I am scared of it. Me personally, I have arachnophobia and entomophobia, which is the fear of insects. There are certain insects that are fine, but again, just big insects flying around. Not a fan. Don't like the buzzing and the flying. Just like land and chill out. If it's like landed and being chill, then we're fine. Just hang out. I don't, I don't want you flying around me though. Not a fan. And then spiders, just since I was little, not a fan, don't like them. I try my best to save them if they are not angry. If they are in my house and they are helpful for something, I try not to kill them and I try to release them outside. I try to do the kind thing, but sometimes just can't do it. Just can't do it and I have to just just give them a mash because I don't like spiders. Probably my biggest fear. Some other common phobias that I wanted to bring up that many people have, uh, that at least I know, are the fear of needles. I feel like the fear of needles is a fairly common one. Many people that I know don't like needles and having anything to do with them. It's kind of common here in Japan too. There are many of my fellow teachers that have this fear. The fear of needles is called trypanophobia, if you were curious. And then next there is the fear of clowns. Fear of clowns is called colrophobia, I think is how it's pronounced. That one I'm not sure if is necessarily as big of a deal because clowns I think are declining in popularity as we are going on year per year. I feel like there are less clowns. I still think people have the fear, but I don't think it's as much as it was maybe 20 years ago. And then another one that a lot of people talk about is trypophobia, which is like those like irregular holes looking things or like irregular like patterns, like really freaks people out, especially like when it's like skin colored. I sometimes think they look weird, but they don't really scare me. But I know a lot of people have that fear. Like even just like showing a picture on screen, I'm sure if you have trypophobia that it like was not a great thing to see. But yeah, those are just some of the common ones, whether I relate to them or not. Let me know down in the comments down below if you think that I missed any of the big ones at all. And then a couple other fears that I wanted to mention that I didn't see on the list that I saw. I think a lot of people have the fear of death. I think people get worried about when it's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen, and why a lot of people have some of the fears that I mentioned previously is because of that fear, which again, I can totally relate to. I think more for me, the fear of death has to come with the things that I might miss out on from being alive. Like part of the reason I think that being alive is great is because you have things to look forward to and know that eventually you'll miss out on them. So I don't have necessarily the exact same fear of death. Like again, I think it's not obviously the, the funnest thing that it happens, but knowing that it will happen, I think pushes me to want to experience things and do things and see things. So I don't necessarily, I feel like, have the same outlook on that fear as many other people. I feel like if anything, the thing that scares me most about the fear of death is maybe it happening to me while I'm alone more than anything. And I mean that in multiple ways. One of the ways that I mean that is essentially just like me being here in my apartment. If I like choked on food, like again, that would be a major bummer. And it would be, that's like something that I'm kind of scared of happening that I'll just be here in my apartment alone, unable to really call for help or have anyone really help me. And that kind of bleeds into the second point. I'm scared of the death alone part and a finding a partner aspect. I 
don't necessarily know if it's like a fear kind of in the normal sense, but obviously as you get older and you don't have those experiences that many other people are having and that many people and the media portray as being something important that you do have, you start to worry that it's never going to happen for you, that while I do have many people that love me in my life, that nobody's ever going to like me in my life is a big fear that I have in relating to the fear of death. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this week. Let me know down in the comments down below if there's anything that you think that I missed phobia-wise. If there's a phobia that you think that I have that I didn't mention, feel free to also leave it down in the comments down below. If there's a big one that I didn't mention that many people have, again, leave it down in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like my stupid face talking about stupid things, hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting a video for a while until April hits, and then we'll see kind of what happens around then. And until then, guys, my name is Mitch. This has been I'm Turning 30, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.